فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد uh, Today's question is um, that was sent to me is how does one know that they saw the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their dream? How does one know that what he saw in his dream was the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I say know that seeing the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your dream if it is in accordance to how he was alayhi salatu wassalam in this world, the descriptions in which he had whilst he was in this world, for verily you have then seen the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. As he said alayhi salatu wassalam, the hadith which an Imam al-Bukhari narrated in Kitab al-Ilm and also in Kitab al-Adab, Muslim narrated in Kitab al-Ru'ya, Ibn Majah narrated in Ta'bir uh, al-Ru'ya, and Ahmed bin Hanbal narrated in his Musnad on the authority of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala an that the messenger said man ra'ani fil manam anyone who sees me in a dream faqad ra'ani he will heed for verily he has seen me fa inna shaytana la yatamathalu bi shaytan does not pretend to be me in another wording he said man ra'ani faqad ra'a al haqq anyone who has seen me for verily has seen the truth so the Messenger وسلم, in that hadith said what? That whoever sees me, so that seeing has to be him first. Then we can say that the shaitan cannot imitate what you've just seen. It is him alayhi salam. You got it right. So we ask or we find out from the person, Because what we have is the book Al Imam Tirmidhi wrote, which is the Prophet's description which is called Shama'il al-Muhammadiyya his hair how his neck was alayhi salatu wasalam how his height was how the width between his shoulders were how many beards that were white in his beard uh, everything is known so if a person comes up to us and says I saw in my dream a man that doesn't have no beard then we'll say you have not seen the messenger because when he was alive he had a beard alayhi salatu wasalam so Shaitan can play with that image you just saw right now, that individual you just saw, who has not got a bed, that is Shaitan, not the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Because when he was alive, he had a characteristics, he had a description in which he was known for. وَلِذَلِكَ Ibn Sirin, Muhammad ibn Sirin, who was known for his interpretation of the dream, it is said that if a person came to him and said, I saw the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to say to that person, Sifli alladhi ra'aytahu. Describe to me who you've just seen. Just give me the description. If the person described him and was not in accordance to the way that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, he would say to the person, Lam tara. You didn't see the Prophet. You didn't see him. So we say, al maqai, According to that uh, scaling, we will say, we will know that the Prophet Sallallahu you seeing him in a dream, has to be in accordance to how he was alayhi salatu wassalam whilst he was alive. And I conclude there, وَالْعِلْمُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا لِلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَإِخْوَانِهِ لَا يَوْمِ الدِّينَ وَسَلَّمَ تَسْلِيمًا